everyone. Hi, my name is Christine and I'm going to be your host today. We are here in sunny Florida um, at the Cousin DIY studio. I have my friend Maggie who's going to be helping us out in the background. Um, so welcome. Thanks for joining us today. So today's class, we're going to be uh, making some really cute sparkly shoes. So we have kind of a heart version. And then we also have these fun little strawberry versions here. These strawberry ones are kind of my favorite. Um, but this is just kind of to give you an idea. You don't have to do this specific design, but this is just something that you can kind of take with you and, you know, make it your own. You could do stars or you could do little lightning bolts or, you know, whatever you want. So, uh, but this is just kind of to show you the technique, how to do this. And then that way you can take it with you and make whatever you want. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. We'll go over the materials first. Um, so if you want to pan down to this camera here. All right. So most importantly, you're gonna need your crystals. So today we're gonna be working with the bead landing, the SS6 size crystals. Um, and the, the thing that I really love about using this kind of smaller size Yes, it does take a little bit longer to place the crystals, but it makes it more of a pave look. So as you can see, look at this crystal shine. I mean, it is just beautiful. So when you're using a smaller crystal size like this SS6, it really, really makes a, a for a really pretty kind of like pave look, almost a, a, a richer look, if you will. Um, so we just kind of want to show you that these smaller size crystals are not just for nails. You can use them on anything um, and really make a really beautiful design with them. So for the strawberry shoes, we're gonna be using the light pink, the green and the black. And then for the heart shoes, we used um, the amethyst and the scion. Um, and then you're also going to need some glue. So we're going to use our uh, handy dandy bead landing crystal glue. I love this glue. Um, it dries super clear. It's got a really strong hold. And then it comes with this um, pen top here, which makes it, you know, really easy for when you're using it with the crystals because not a whole, you know, you don't have this big glob of glue that comes out at one time. You're going to need your crystal picker upper. These come in a three pack. Um, and they last forever. So I think I've been using the same one now for quite a few classes now, um, but it's a great tool to, to use. And I would highly suggest you invest in this little tool here because it will save you a lot of frustration. Um, and last but not least, you're gonna have your paints. So we just use some acrylic paint. You can use fabric paint um, and then you'll use some paint pens as well. Um, either way is fine. It's just whatever you feel kind of more comfortable with using. So we're going to go ahead and get started on um, our heart shoes first. We're going to kind of just start by painting our white canvas shoe. And I picked these up at Walmart. Um, Target has kind of a similar shoe. Um, you could do these on vans, on keds, um, whatever you want. If you have something at home already that you just want to spruce up, that's a good thing to use as well. So what we're going to do first is we're going to paint our canvas shoe. And I'm just going to be using this uh, color Pink Blast. Um, again, you can use whatever color you want. Um, this is just the color that I chose. So you get a little paper plate, you're going to want to get kind of a smaller brush. I like a brush that has a little bit of an angle to it. Um, it helps me kind of get into the smaller kind of nooks and crannies. Um, so we're just going to start by painting the shoe. So I painted just like the toe area and then I painted from this stitching line to um, all the way to the back. So We'll just kind of start on the toe here. And you're just gonna wanna paint a few brush strokes. Doesn't have to be anything, you know, fancy or you just wanna get the paint on the shoe. One of our viewers said you're using acrylic paint and they use fabric paint. What is the difference? Um, so 
honestly, when you're painting the shoe, it's, it's really not much of a difference. It's just kind of, you know, what you have on hand. Um, I had a little of both on hand. Um, so that's just kind of what I used, but you can use either or, um, there's not really a right or wrong. Um, I will say you will want to, um, seal these afterwards after we paint them. Um, and you can use an acrylic sealer that you just spray on. Um, Aileen's brand makes one or uh, Mod Podge makes um, a fabric sealer as well. So once you put that, that on, you really shouldn't have to worry about um, anything going wrong with your shoes once you're, you've painted them. But that's a really great question. Thank you for asking that. All right, so that's all we're doing is we're just kind of painting along the toe right now. And this will dry fairly quickly, which is kind of nice because then you can kind of move on to the next step. Has anyone joined our class before? I know we've hosted a few classes. Has anyone joined us before? Or if this is your first time, welcome, welcome. It's such a pretty color of pink. <laughs> I do love my pink, if you couldn't tell. <laughs> Susie says this is her first time. Oh, well, welcome, Susie. Thanks for joining us today. Glad you could make it. So I love making these kind of just fun little um, canvas shoes. They're just super easy to do, and you could do them for really any holiday or school function. Um, it's just really fun and easy to do, and it makes a really personalized um shoe that people just love. Um, I actually have made some for Christmas. Um, you could make them, you know, for Halloween or Easter, or whatever. Um, actually where I'm from uh, is Plant City and we have every year the strawberry festival. So I am definitely going to make myself a pair of these to wear to the strawberry festival. <laughs> what a good idea. I like to go to that every year too. Oh, it's the best. Do you paint this varnish with water in a rainy day? Um, um, oh, meaning like if is it safe to wear on a rainy day? Like will it will it um leak off your shoe if you wore the shoes on a rainy day? No, it shouldn't. Um once you have put the sealer on it, you should be able to just wear them just like you normally would any any pair of shoes. Um now. I wouldn't go jumping around in puddles in them, <laughs> um, but no, you should be fine. Um, just with any kind of embellished shoe, anything embellished. Um, yeah, you're gonna have some some that come off, but, but that's okay. Um, you'll have extra, and if you want to, you know, replace those stones that have fallen off down the road, you certainly can. So. Yeah, this, this part's super easy. You're just gonna paint on. And when you get kind of close to that bottom edge, I just kind of go with my little angled brush and I just kind of scoot it along. And that way you don't really get it on the white part of the sole of the shoe. Will we be able to demonstrate how to seal the shoe? Um, I did not do that um, just for time purposes, but all you need to do is, and I would recommend actually sealing them before you put the crystals on. Um, but once you get them all painted, how you want them to look, um, it's really easy. You can use, like I said, the Mod Podge makes a um, fabric sealer and you would just literally paint that right on top or um, Aileen's brand makes an acrylic clear sealer and you would just spray that on. And again, it's gonna hopefully, you know, seal it up really nice and well and provide um, like a water barrier for the paint. 
So unfortunately, I do apologize. Uh, I did not do that today just because of time purposes. Um, but I wanted to make sure to let you all know that you can do that. All right, get some more paint here. So is anybody making these along with us or are you just kind of watching first to, and then gonna go back and, and make them? I'm just curious. Watching first. Yeah, that's fair. That's kind of what I do too. I don't know if anybody's going to any Super Bowl parties, but these would be super cute to make and wear oh, if we have any Chiefs or 49ers fans on here. Forty-niners. <laughs> I just hope I just hope both teams have fun. <laughs> Go sports. Go sports. Do the thing. Like, make the points. <laughs> oh, one. Oh, we have a few 49ers and, and Mariana says um she made 49ers theme shoes. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Yes. Oh, that sounds so cute. I love these DIY shoes. They're so wonderful. Me too. They're just so fun. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm not gonna do too much more because I kind of want to show you the next step in what we're gonna do. But you get the gist of this. You're just gonna wanna paint. And again, you don't have to do this exact thing that we did. Um, you can, if you just wanted to paint the toe, you could paint the toe. If you just wanted to do the sides, you could do the sides. It's totally up to you. Um, this is just to kind of give you some ideas and then you can kind of take from it what you will and you know make it your own. So next we're gonna do, we did these little scallops on here. I just love a scallop. Um, so I'm gonna show you how to do the scallop portion and then we'll draw on our hearts. So move this out of the way. So when I did the scallops, I just used a penny, but if you have something small and round that you could use, do that as well. Um, I just, a penny, everybody has a penny in a junk drawer, right? Mm -hmm. um, so that's kind of what I used. Um, now you'll wanna let this dry. Um, mine's not super dry yet, it's dry enough, but when you do this, you'll wanna let this dry a little bit more, but for time purposes, we're just gonna keep moving this along. Um, so I take my penny and I just kind of center it in this stitching line here. And then I take my pencil and I'm just gonna draw around the curve of that penny. So it makes, I don't know if you can see that. So it makes that first little scallop there. And then I'm just gonna set it back down and I'm gonna draw my second one around there. So as you can see, it's starting to make our little scallop design. And we're gonna do that all along the toe. That's really cute. It makes me wanna make like a million step gallops and make each one a different physical color. Oh, that would be so cute. So this is all we're doing to make our little scallops. And then um, we did scallops on the back as well. But again, you don't have to if you don't want to, but you're gonna do the same kind of process. You're just gonna kind of place your penny in the center and just kind of trace around that. So, all right. So then next, what we're gonna do is we're going to paint paint our scallop. So I used a red paint pen. Um, and this is super easy because you don't even have to use a brush. It's literally just like you're coloring in something. So I just kind of used my paint pen and I drew along the scallop here and then I just kind of colored it in. 
like so. And you're gonna just do that all the way around on the lines you just did. And again, if you don't like this little scallop, don't do it. Um, just make it your own, do you know what makes you happy and what you like the best. All right, so then you'll just kind of keep going if you want that scallop on there. Um, okay, so next thing we're gonna do is I added a little bit of red glitter on my red. And then when I did my hearts, again, you don't have to do this step. It's just something that I added to give it a little bit of extra sparkle. Um, it's not necessary, but I'm extra and this is what I do, so. <laughs> I'm just going to paint a little bit of that on there and hopefully it just kind of gives it a little bit of extra sparkle. Can we show the brand name of the paint pens that we use? Sure. Um, so the, this is the Craft Smart brand, um, but there's um, another brand that I think was on your item list. Um, she said the most common one is Posca. You got it? P-O-S. CA? Yeah, that, that might be the other brand that, that um, I'm thinking of. But yeah, so these you can buy in Michaels. They have a ton of colors and I love using them. They're super easy, like I said, because you can kind of use them as um, almost like a, a marker, um, a crayon. So it makes it super easy. It takes to that canvas on the shoe really well too. It really does. So that's all I'm doing here is I was just kind of adding my little... Um, glitter paint onto this just to give it a little extra sparkle. Again, not something that's necessary, just something that we did. And then you'll let that dry. And then to draw our hearts, um, I just used um, a piece of scrap paper. And I, you know, you do the little trick where you kind of fold it in half and, and you kind of cut out a little heart. So I just made myself a little template. And then I used that to kind of draw my heart. So, and you could do different sizes. I think I kept mine all the same size, but you could do little hearts. Uh, you could do a giant heart on the toe. Um, Thank you. Yeah, there's just so much you could do. So you're just gonna trace around your heart like that. Um, I'll see, I'll do another one here so we can do the purple. And I use two colors, the purple and the red. You don't have to. Um, you could do more than two colors. You could do like a rainbow. There's such great colors in this um, PP or SS6 size. So that's all you're gonna do. You're just gonna trace your hearts with your little template that you make. And then you're gonna go back with your paint pens again, and you're gonna color that in. So here's my purple, and I'm just gonna color that in. So I'm gonna trace around my heart. Does anyone have any questions? I know we kind of sped through this kind of fast um, and I do apologize because we only have an hour. Um, but if anybody has any questions, um, please feel free to speak up so that I can get those answered for you. All right, so like I said, you're just gonna color those in. Um, I'll color this one red. All right, so now that we have that all filled in, 
Um, and once you have all of your design, you're, you've got it completely painted and you're done. Like this is what you're going to crystallize. Now is the time that I would go back and put my clear coat on. Um, I would, I would, I wouldn't put it on after I do my crystals. I would do it at this step. That way, um, it doesn't get on your crystals. Um, so your crystals stay nice and sparkly. Uh, all right. So let's say I've put my clear coat on. So now we're going to do a little bit of the crystallizing right now. Um, and it, yes. Jenny wanted to know, why do you color them with the paint pen first? So again, you don't have to, this is just my personal preference. When you have the same color underneath the crystal, it really makes the crystal pop more. Um, you can put, you know, a crystal on just the white, you don't have to paint it, but it's not going to pop as much as if you have the background kind of painted the same color as the crystal you're using. Um, that's always what I like to do, um, just because I like to get as much sparkle as I possibly can. Um, again, because I'm extra. Um, so yes, yeah, so that's why we do that. Great question, thanks. Um, all right, so I'm going to take my crystal glue here and I'm gonna be using the red, the Siam crystals, and then the amethyst crystals. So, pop these open. I just love using these little ones because again, they really just make such a beautiful kind of like pave design. Um, and if anyone doesn't know what a pave crystal is, it's like, it's when like in your jewelry where you've got a bunch of tiny crystals and they're kind of like flush into the surface setting. It's, it's just beautiful. And it really gives it such like an elegant, um, rich look. So that's kind of why I really love using these kind of smaller crystals. Um, so what we're gonna do is since we've got a little bit on, actually, I'm gonna let that, that glitter dry that I did a little bit ago. So we'll start on the hearts first. And we're gonna walk, work in small sections. Um, so don't put, don't glue your whole heart because by the time you get to the other end, some of that glue will already have dried. So if you just work in small sections, that's kind of the best way to go. So I'm just gonna follow the outline of my heart and we'll just do a little bit of glue. And like I said, this glue is so great. It, it goes on really nicely. It dries completely clear. So if you do happen to put too much on, it's not gonna make a difference. It's gonna dry totally clear. It's got a really good strong hold. Um, Cause let's face it, these are gonna be on your feet. It, it, it works out really nice. So I'm gonna use my crystal picker upper and I'm just gonna pick up the crystal using the wax tip and I'm going to place it where I put my glue. So I'm going to use this outline of this heart and I'm just going to place that right down on top. And you're going to do that through the whole heart. And I made mine a little big. If you wanted to make your smaller, you totally could. Um, you don't even have to do hearts. Like I said, you could do stars or smiley faces or, I mean, there's just so much you could do. So one of our viewers asked if we've actually washed these shoes. Um, no, I wouldn't recommend washing them. And that's just anything in general that is embellished. Um, if you do want to wash it, I would rec I always recommend hand washing. Um, any of my clothing, my hats, my shoes, I, I don't ever put them in the washing machine. Um, just because you do risk, um, your crystals falling off because of the agitation, um, in the machine. So I would say, Yes, you can wash them, but I would hand wash um, anything with an embellishment on it. But that is an excellent question. So thank you for bringing that up. So I'm just kind of following the outline of my heart right now, as you can see. 
And I will say, I find it very relaxing to do this. <laughs> um, I think some people probably might think I'm nuts, um, but it's kind of like when you, if those of you who have a cricket and they, you know, you've heard people say like when you weed a stencil, it's kind of like satisfying. Um, this to me is is just as satisfying. I love it too. Yeah. So now I'm gonna go back and I'm just gonna go right inside that line that I just did on my heart. Can everyone see? I know it's kind of hard. So you can see, I'm just kind of going along my, my line that I just made with my crystals. Someone compared it to diamond art. It, it's very much so, yeah. So, but you're kind of freelancing if you, if you will. <laughs> So again, this is all I'm doing. I'm just working in small sections. Now, when you go to wear these, especially on shoes, you really want the glue to cure before you wear them. So usually if it's just something small, you could do like four hours. However, on shoes, I would say let the glue cure for a good 24 to 48 hours before wearing them. Um, you really want that glue to harden and get in all those kind of little nooks and crannies of the, of the crystals. And that's really what's going to make your, your embellishments last longer. Um, and I will say if you, sometimes I get overexcited and I wanna put it on in like an hour and I have to tell myself, no, Christine, you can't do that. Um, because that's when you will get um, a lot of your crystals falling out is you, you have to give the glue time to harden. Um, and that's going to be, that's really going to make or break your crystal project. And then you can kind of use the end of your stick here to kind of push those crystals around. All right. Um, so yeah, that is, that is basically it, the, the crystal part, which I think is the fun part. So as you can see, we've done a little bit of the red, and then I'll show you kind of a little bit on the amethyst color and all this white that you see, this white glue, that's going to dry completely clear. So if I compare it to these, you don't see the glue at all, do you? So just know that if you add too much, um, it's going to dry clear. So don't, I mean, you don't want to glob it on, but I'm just saying, you know, if you happen to put too much on, it's not a big deal. So, all right. So now I'm going to do a little bit on the purple, which is the amethyst color. And I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm going to outline it first and then work in small sections. And these little triangle trays are great. They come with the glue um, and they're really great for helping you get your crystals kind of flipped over. And amethyst is a nice color, February's amethyst. That's one. right, that's right. So I would love, if you do make these, um, I would love to see what you guys make. So please, um, if you post your projects, um, which I really hope you do, um, you really want to tag us in it and tag Michaels in it. So the hashtag make it with Michaels, um, hashtag create with cousin and hashtag cousin DIY. That way we can see um, what you're making. Uh, again, I love seeing what people make. It's kind of probably my favorite part about doing these classes is just seeing what people come up with. I just, it always blows my mind how, how creative people are. Oh, 
sorry. Yeah, any social media works. We see it everywhere. That's right. All right. So again, you're just going to keep putting those crystals down. Um, you would do the same thing here um, if you wanted crystals on your little scallop like we did here. Um, you would just use your glue and go around the edges and then just work little bits at a time. And that's what, you know, you just work at filling it in and uh, it comes out great. So that's that shoe. Um, so I am going to move along to the little strawberry shoes just so you have an idea. Um, and one thing I will say, I always like to switch out the tenant, the shoelaces. Um, you can use ribbon, um, any choice ribbon. Um, Amazon has some great shoelaces, but ribbon, you get a lot of different choices as well. Um, here we just use some red velvet ribbon that we found at Michael's. Um, so that's always a really cute option to do. Does anybody have any questions um, on the little heart shoes so far? I want to make sure that I answer those for you. All right. So for the little strawberry shoes, oh, I just love these. And I will say, if I know sometimes Valentine's, it's like two hearts. It's, you know, sometimes people don't want hearts. I get it. So strawberries are another cute option to do um, for Valentine's Day. Um, so if you don't like the hearts, I always think these are super cute. So, um, okay. So for the strawberry shoes, we did these a little bit different. So we painted just the um, up here, the upper edge uh, yeah, and this side is the one I did so we just use the light pink paint which is the craft smart the matte acrylic light pink um, and we painted that on there so these are a little different so I'm going to just do the kind of the same thing on here and then we'll draw our little strawberries on Mariana, um, one of our viewers had a great idea. We could do lunar and New Year's themed shoes with red dragon. Oh my gosh, yes. Oh, that would be amazing. Oh, I think that's such a great idea. Mm -hmm. If you make them, please show us. <laughs> All right, so we're just going to start by doing from the stitching line up. So again, you're just going to paint on your paint. We'll kind of keep it in between these stitching lines here. And then I just kind of free-handed my little strawberries. They're really, really easy to do. Um, however, if you are kind of intimidated and you don't want to hand, you know, freehand them, you can always make yourself a little template just like we did with the heart um, and use that as like a, a stencil almost. But I think these would be so cute on a little girl, like if you did like like little cupcakes or, mm -hmm. you know, just something sweet. Watermelons. Watermelons, yeah. I mean, there's like so much you could do. Really 
watermelon. Watermelons would be really cute for like Fourth of July. Oh yeah, that'd be really cute. I love how versatile it is. You could really do anything. Yeah, like you really could. All right, so I just kind of painted the one side, and then I'll show you really quickly. Where did I put my pencil? There it is. How I did my strawberries. So on the toe, I have two little strawberries, and then on the side, I did kind of different size strawberries. Um, so all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna freehand this really quickly. It's super easy. So you're just kind of gonna make almost like a heart shape at the bottom. And then I just kind of draw a line here. And then I'm gonna make my little stem. And then we're gonna make the top of the strawberry. So it's almost gonna look kind of like an acorn at first until you make your little, um, your kind of little leaves that are gonna stick out. All right, so there's one strawberry and let's make a second one over here. We'll make this one a little bit bigger. All right, and see, I don't know if you can see that, but I have my two little strawberries that I just drew on, and now we're going to paint them. So again, if you would prefer to use a paint pen like these, you certainly can. Um, I just happen to have, you know, green and the light pink paint on hand, so that's kind of what I used, um, but again, if you'd rather, you know, just color it in like with the, the paint markers, you can do that as well. Um, so then you're going to take your paint and you're going to paint in your strawberries here. I used pink, but feel free to do red or whatever color you want. Where is everybody watching from? That's something else I'm always curious about. We are in Florida, so it's actually a beautiful day here. Arizona, Houston. Oh, nice. New Jersey. Oh, well, hello. All right, so I've got my little strawberry painted in and I'm gonna do the green. We have someone else from Florida in Miami and then uh, California. Oh, wow. That's awesome, we've got all parts of the country. I know, I love that. Wow, Mariana. Mariana says that uh, they made Wonder Woman, Jasmine, How to Train Your Dragon, and Fault in Our Stars theme shoes. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh wow. Well, you're like a pro at this shoe thing. So <laughs> you should be giving us ideas for these then. That's amazing. I would definitely love to see pictures of those. Yeah, me too. 
That sounds awesome. I know. That sounds really cool. All right. So we're just painting this in. And then we'll go back and we'll do our crystals on it. But that's all you're doing. See, super easy. Didn't, didn't take us hardly any time to do that. Um, and then I'm going to do this other one here. So you get the idea. You'll do this however you want to do your design. Like I said, we kind of did different sizes on the sides here. Ooh, there we go. Um, so you can do big, small. You don't have to put any on the side if you don't want to. Um, just kind of make it make it yours. And then for the um, little black little seeds in there, we're going to use our um, black SS6, which is this pack here. And you're just gonna put a few little dabs of glue. So very random, doesn't have to be in any special order. You're just gonna put those on. And then we're gonna take our tool picker upper and we're gonna put our little black crystals right in those dabs of glue we put down. They look so cute already. I think so too. So there's part of our little strawberry that we've got some crystals on her. And so then you're just gonna go back and you're gonna do the same thing we did on our hearts, but we're gonna do it on our little strawberry. So I'm gonna take my green color, my SS6 green, which is this pack here and start filling in the stem and the leaves. So I'm just gonna take my glue, kind of go in a little small section. And just start placing my crystals. I like to put my crystals right next to each other. Um, but if you didn't want to do that, you could you could space them out so that, you know, they weren't fully crystallized um, just so it gave, you know, a little bit of sparkle. Um, totally up to you. Um, again, there's no kind of right or wrong to this. This is just kind of, I'm just showing you what I like to do. Um, and then that way you can kind of take it and make it your own. Um, again, the glue, you want to wait 24 to 48 hours before wearing these because we really want that glue to harden. That's going to be the key um, in making these a successful crystallized project. If I had time, I might make, make, some, make myself some Monster Jam ones. We're taking taking our son to Monster Jam on Saturday night. So might have to make me some big, big Monster Jam shoes. <laughs> <laughs> that green's got me inspired for next month too. For um, Oh my gosh, yes. Oh, that's a great idea. So I'm just going to keep going and filling that in. And then once you get your kind of stem and your leaves filled in, then you can move on to your little pink strawberry. And again, I know we went through this really, really fast. So if you have any questions at all, please feel free to speak up so that I can get those answered for you. I think we have 15 minutes. Yep. 15 minutes left. Um, in our class today. Um, and again, I just wanted to say thank you so much for joining us. Um, it's always a pleasure and I'm always so excited to, you know, see what you guys make and hear where you're from. And 
it's just, it's very exciting to me. So thank you. Have we ever done Taylor Swift themed shoes for the Air Store? <sighs> well, <laughs> funny you should ask. Actually, um, I didn't do um, little shoes like this, but I did do some pink um, cowgirl boots that um, I actually wore when I took my daughter to the Eras tour when she was here in Tampa. Um, so, but that's actually a really good idea um, to do little kids tennis shoes. Oh my gosh, how cute would those be? Yeah. But no, I haven't done this type of a shoe, but I did crystallize some cowboy boots. Um, to wear. So speaking of, we have some fun projects to show too, right? For inspiration. Oh, yes. Oh, great idea. Thank you for reminding me. All right. So I'm going to take a break really quick because I want to show you guys some other things that we've done with this small size crystal. Um, this is uh, a little home decor piece that we found in Michael's. It's obviously for um, Valentine's decor, but we used the SS6 crystal to just crystallize. And we use the Scion color, the Crystal AB and the Crystal color. But look how pretty, like seriously, look at this shimmer. So gorgeous. I love it so much. It just really adds so much to this. And this didn't take, you know, a couple hours maybe. Um, so there's so much you can do with these. Um, this was a little AirPod case um, that we did. Um, so as you can see, we kind of did some glitter iridescent glitter first, and then we've got the crystals on it. Uh, I don't know if you can see that it's so good, but super easy. Um, this I love, again, I love the strawberries. Um, I did this little headband. Um, this is just made, I took um, the felt sheets that are in the kids section. I have a red and a green one, and I just made this little strawberry. Um, I got a cheap headband from the Dollar Tree and just wrapped it in some grow green ribbon that I found at Michael's. And it just, oh, I just love it so much. It's so freaking cute. Um, you can do that. This water bottle, if you wanna add a little sparkle to your water bottle. Um, here we did um, just a little hint, you know, you don't have to do the whole thing, just if you wanna add a little bling. So I just love this idea. Um, this is a little miniature water bottle that we did. Um, with the light rose in there. And it just looks really pretty against the white. Um, this is a really cute little um, sweater headband that we did. We've got um, three different colors on here. The Crystal AB, the, um, I think it's Capri Blue. Um, and then again, the light rose. So just something really fun that you can do. Um, this didn't take any time at all. And last but not least, we have, ta-da, you can crystallize your phone cable. So this, <laughs> this does take a little bit of time, um, but again, just another idea that you can do. Um, you can add crystal to anything. Um, trust me, I know, ask my husband, I do it all the time. Mm -hmm. uh, we find crystals all over our house, um, but you know, sorry, not sorry. Um, all right, so these are just, again, some ideas for you to you or for to do, um, think outside the box, you know, do whatever you want. But again, these are great to use on all different types of surfaces, um, as well as our glue, you can use um, on a lot of different surfaces as well. Um, it's a great glue, dries clear, I can't, I can't say enough good things about this glue. All right, so I'm gonna do a little bit of pink just to show you um, what it looks like in our little strawberry here. All right, so again, we're just gonna put a little bit of glue here. I'm gonna use my little crystal tool to pick up my crystals. And you'll just start placing those right where you put that glue. <laughs> oh, 
Um, again, I just want to remind you, if you do um, take pictures, please tag us in them. Um, want to see what you make. It's truly, truly like what we look forward to. So um, if you do put it on social media, um, make sure you do the hashtag make it with Michaels and the hashtag create with cousin, hashtag cousin DIY. That way um, we get tagged in it as well as Michaels so we can actually see what you make and comment on it. Um, it's just so fun. And then what, when you, when you're putting them around, you know, the little black seed crystals, um, you'll just kind of fill in. Um, some spots may not need any crystal and then some spots might be a little bigger. So just fill in, you know, where you can with those and um, should be good. All right, so now you can see we've got a little bit of our pink on there as well as our green and our little black seeds. And then we did crystals on the little edge up here as well. You don't have to, but just look how cute that is. Oh my gosh, really sparkles, so. I like the ribbon you chose too, the gingham. Yes, and yeah, again, I love, it just really makes a statement when you change out the shoelaces. Um, you don't have to, but. We got this cute little pink gingham ribbon at Michael's um, and we just changed out the shoelaces in here. Um, and it just really makes them like super cute and makes them pop. So um, your preference though. Um, well, does anybody have any questions at all before we wrap up here? I think we have about five minutes. So, Oh, um, and I wanted to mention our next class is going to be March 27th um, with Chloe. And it's going to be a beautiful um, necklace that she made. And it's going to, you can put crystals on that necklace to make it really like stand out. It's, it's so cute. Um, and then our next class after that will be April 3rd. Um, and we're going to be doing this like, oh my God, it's the cutest bag ever. It's like a rainbow kind of um, kind of like clutch or pouch type. Um, it's so cute. You guys will love it. Um, but yes, please join us for those next two classes. If you can, um, please give us feedback. Um, I think after this, you'll be sent a little survey. It's, we welcome it good, bad, or ugly. Please get, um, be honest, give us your feedback, um, and tell us what you liked, what you didn't like. And, um, yeah, so, if you have any questions, please let me know. I think we have a few more minutes left. What's the toughest thing you ever crystallized? Oh, that's hard. <laughs> oh, I've crystallized a lot of stuff. <laughs> oh, I'd have to think about that one. I don't know. That's a, that's a tough one. So, all right, well, no one has any more questions. Um, thank you again. And I hope that you have a wonderful weekend. Have fun at the Super Bowl parties if you attend um, and be safe and keep calm and sparkle on. Bye.